YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing you the best top five class setups here in Cold War multiplayer. Um, a lot of this is preference based. Obviously, you may have another weapon that you enjoy more than that one than that one. You guys get what I'm saying. But this is what I feel is these setups are very overpowered, especially for multiplayer. And I may make a, a Warzone uh, video for the top five best class setups down the road, maybe after the DMR gets nerfed, because that would probably be the best. Uh, that would be every weapon. Top five. Number one is DMR. Two is DMR. Three, four, five is DMR. Okay, until that thing gets nerfed. But anyway, man, let's hop into these. This is going to be a shorter video. I don't want to take too much time, but I am going to go through all the attachments uh, for each weapon and let you know why I run the attachments that I run. So anyway, let's get into it, man. Uh, we'll start at the top. These are the top five for multiplayer. Um, for the primary, we're running the AK-47, which happens to be my favorite weapon right now that as we speak. It's the AK-47, 100%. Um, let's jump into these attachments. We are running Gunfighter for most of these. Um, you can switch it out with uh, Perk Greed and have six perks instead of three, but uh, for multiplayer, I seem to... I mean, pl I play Nuketown a lot and, then, and Raid right now because I love those maps, but you don't really need all of the perks for those maps, I guess. But if you're playing like Search and Destroy, you would obviously want more perks it just depending on the game mode so you guys can throw your own very uh, variations into this so anyway for these attachments we're going muzzle break 7.62 and i do this because it has no cons um and i try to do that for every class setup it's very crucial and it's like i think the key thing to have a very good class setup for the barrel running the v force barrel and it has effective damage 100 percent and bullet velocity at 40 percent so it's actually a really good combination and it, it affects the movement speed a little bit but no uh, horizontal or vertical recoil control which is key to have the most accurate weapon as possible uh they're running for the body steady aim laser 20 percent hip fire no cons barrel running the foregrip uh plus 15 percent horizontal recoil control so we're just building up that uh that recoil uh to make it super accurate for the magazine running the 50 round mag which has all pros and only one con which is minus 25 adsb and you may think that's a ton but then you counter it with the grew elastic wrap and then that has plus 30 percent ads or aimed out sight speed so it actually increases it by five overall and then you have 90 percent flinch resistance um aim while going prone and then you have a little bit of movement speed uh that is makes it a little bit slower for this ak and then for the stock um you increase the movement speed by adding this last skeletal stock so it kind of balances everything and there's more pros and all the cons are basically canceled out so very good setup man uh complete laser beam and it melts one of the best weapons in the game okay so that is the ak-47 and for the uh, i'll cover i guess the secondary for this but all of my secondaries will be the same or two weapons for the secondary you can either run the the dual wield, I don't even know how to pronounce it. The Diamati, is that how you say it? Diamati. Uh, the pistols, basically the Renetti's um, dual wield, those. Or you can go with the Spaz shotgun, um, it, which is one of the most overpowered weapons in multiplayer as well. So either the dual wield, Diamati's, Diamati's, Renetti's, whatever, Renetti's, whatever you want to call them. Or you can run this Gallo SA-12 or the Spaz. So th that is the secondary. And you can run whatever you want for that. And for the perks, uh, you guys can look at them right here. Stimshot, C4, Field Mic. Flak Jacket, Scav, and Ninja, or Ghost. Or uh, a lot of times I like to run in multiplayer. I like to run Spycraft because you can't not be seen on um, enemy field mics, trackers, or anything. And you can hack all that, which is unbelievable. So that is the setup for that. And all the person stuff will be the same usually and the secondary. So the next one is the DLC Groza. This thing is completely... I don't know. I love it. It's it's amazing. Both the DLC weapons, and I'll get into the MAC-10 here in a second. Uh, the Groza is amazing. I love it right behind the AK-47 for assault rifles. So um, once you figure out the recoil pattern on this, which it does have a little bit more than the AK, this thing has a faster fire rate, and it melts, and you can move. It's a little bit better movement speed as well. So these attachments for this, and you can run Gunfighter. or I'm running Perk Greed right now, uh, but... This is a very good setup for perk greed, and obviously you can add some more attachments if you want gunfighter on. So for the muzzle running the 7.62, which I almost run on every weapon, no cons to that. The Gru Composite Barrel, which actually has a plus 25% uh, effective damage range and bullet velocity. So there's no cons to that, which is actually very surprising for that good of a combination right there. Uh, then we have the underbarrel foregrip, no cons, just plus plus fifteen percent horizontal recoil control. Then the magazine, we have the VDV fifty round mag, or you could go with the forty, just depending on what you want your ADS speed to feel like. Um, but I prefer the fifty round mag because I like to run a gun and you know have a lot of ammunition. And for the handle, running the Gru elastic wrap, 
uh, which does 30% ADS speed. So it basically cancels out the um, 50 round mag. So yeah, man, that setup is very good. Really recommend you try that. Then we're running the spaz or the or whatever you want to call it, the A12 um, shotgun, a variant for that. Then we're running the flat jacket, tack mask, scavenger tracker, ghost, and ninja for perk greed. So let's hop to the next one. MP5, still very good. Uh, I just haven't been using it as much, but sometimes when I'm playing some sweaty players, I will be going to this MP5. Uh, let's hop to these attachments. We're running the muzzle brake 9, no cons. Like I said, I'd run that almost everything. The reinforced heavy barrel, which is plus 18% damage range and 80% bullet velocity. Uh, some cons for the movement speed though, as you can see. Body, steady aim laser, uh, under barrel foregrip, uh, same as the other ones. Uh, magazine, 40 round fast mags, which slide of hand basically. Uh, handle, airborne elastic wrap, plus 30% ADS speed. That's crucial for an SMG in my opinion. And for the stock, running collapse stock, which is sprint to fire, uh, sprint to fire time shaft or sprint, boom, you can pull up your gun a little bit faster, faster ADS, sprint to fire time. So that is that is for the MP5 running the Spaz, stem shot. Like I said, all these uh, can these can be different. If you prefer a different perk, go ahead and throw that perk on there. These don't have to be. This is what I think is very good for multiplayer, especially. And I, like I said, I'll be getting to a Warzone one later down the road. The next one we have is the AK74U, and I actually got this class from Scump, and obviously it's good. <laughs> obviously it's good. Uh, very good weapon. So right here. Um, the, we do not run the muzzle brake on this one. I was looking at scum setup. He does run the, uh, the Spetnaz compensator. He may change it. He probably changes it all the time to play with things. But from the video I got watching him, I did get this setup. I may have changed it one or two attachments, uh, for the barrel running the reinforced barrel. And I love this one, the 18% and 80% bullet velocity barrel, steady aim laser under barrel Spetnaz speed grip. And he has plus uh, 15% re uh, horizontal recoil control and sprinting move speed. So he's moving faster at all times. And it's just very good for an SMG. 40 round drum. Um, if it was me, I would probably have the 40 round speed mag on this. Uh, that's just my opinion. But he has a 40 round drum because he didn't like the cons to that. And this is, like I said, this is a very good setup right here. Um, and one thing, I think I changed this one. Um, instead of speed tape, I had um, grew elastic wrap. Because it's just faster ads speed and that's what i had for that and no stock uh 30 percent sprint to fire time so very fast sprint and boom shot and your movement speed is very fast with the setup as well so that is the ak-74u you can take a look at my attachments really quick or my perks and we'll get to the, the last one the mac 10. this thing is unbelievable in multiplayer and warzone guys it's unreal the, the dmr i didn't put that in here that could have made a case for being top five but i don't like to play with the dmr i really don't the mac i like the run and gun as you can tell with my class setups that i have um most smgs than the ak and the groza but this mac 10 unbelievable guys in warzone and multiplayer and i know you can't run more than five attachments in warzone but it doesn't even matter you don't even need attachments in warzone so anyway I've run the muzzle break nine uh for the muzzle, for the barrel, run the reinforced heavy barrel, um, body, steady aim laser, which all really have the same pros and cons because I use about the same ones and everything. Foregrip for the underbarrel magazine, run the Salvo 53 round fast mag, which is basically sleight of hand uh, with the 53 round mag. Then we handle, running the airborne elastic wrap, plus 30% ADS speed, flinch resistance, and you can drop shot. And for the stock, we're in the Raider stock, which is sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed. So you can strafe a little bit back and forth. Um, so that is the setup for the Mac 10. Let me know if you guys want me to do a Warzone class up here in the near future. Uh, like I said, I haven't been playing as much Warzone because I know the DMR has kind of taken that over. And <laughs> that's all I see on my timeline on Twitter. So, but the dual uh, Renettis or the dual Diamantes, whatever you want to call them, I don't know how, what, how to pronounce them. Those and the Spaz for the secondaries. And basically, these weapons right here, man, whoo, better watch out. I'm telling you, run these setups, you're going to drop nukes 100%. But yeah, that's all I have for you today, man. Smash that like for 100% nuke guarantee. Smash that subscribe button down below and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.